everyone doing today? I have been up for, wow, I've been up for seven hours already. I woke up at like, no, that's I've been up for like eight hours already. I woke up at three in the morning or something ridiculous like that. And now I am in the Toronto airport. Of course, we are heading to New York today. I'm really, really excited. New York is probably my favorite, probably my favorite city to go to. Uh, I was just there like last or month and a half ago. Now we are heading back. I'm looking forward to meeting a whole bunch of you guys in the city. We're gonna be linking up with Seth. We're gonna be linking up with some guys from Butter Movement. We're gonna be linking up with, well, you guys can watch and see. We're gonna be there until like Wednesday night, I think. We're flying to New York today to buy a pair of sneakers. Yeah, that, that does sound as stupid as it sounds. Yeah, we are flying to New York to buy a pair of sneakers. This is a pair of sneakers I really, really want. This is a pair of sneakers I clearly really, really like. I think lots of you guys are gonna like them as well. If you guys are in New York, because I know I have a lot of people that watch the videos in New York and you would like to meet me, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will be tweeting and putting on my Instagram story where I'm going, what sneaker spots I'm going to, gee, what stores I'm going to. I'm probably gonna be hitting up some basketball courts as well. I'm just talking through these announcements for now and I've been cut off like seven times already. Anyway, that'll be on Twitter and Instagram. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button. It does go a long way in helping out the channel. Really appreciate you and tons of you guys have been messaging me on Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff, asking my opinions on the new Lonzo Ball sneaker, the $500 sneaker, the ridiculous fake Kobe, fake boost sneaker that Lonzo and LeVar have put out. I made a whole video of it. Link will be down in the description and up at the top corner of the screen. I guess some of you guys didn't see that video and want to hear my opinions. Trust me, I have some opinions on them. You guys can check them out over there. But with that being said, I think it is time to get over to New York City. All right, guys, so we made it over to New York. Finally, we uh, landed in Newark, which is not ideal. It's like a long, long wait from the hotel, which is in Manhattan. But there's like a train that goes most of the way. I think it goes to Penn Station, then it's just a quick little cab ride from there. So that's not too bad. But we are going to be doing a lot of sneaker shopping this week and in an 8 to 13 minute video every day I can't really show you all the cool shoes that we see so I always end up leaving clips out so what I'm gonna be doing is on snuffs I'm gonna be posting every single cool pair of sneakers that I see in New York on Snup. Snups is a really cool app. You can organize your collection. I post my weekly sneaker rotations on there and all of that good stuff. There is a huge community of sneakerheads, people that collect sports memorabilia. Basically, if you collect something, there's a community for you on there. But I'm gonna be posting all the cool shoes that I see over there. There's a link in the description to download and a link in the description to follow me. So if you guys don't wanna miss out on what there is at the different stores, I'll try and tag like what store they're in as well if you guys wanna come and buy them. You can definitely do that with a link in the description. Today we are finally in New York. That's the good news. Bad news is my hotel is in the middle of Times Square, which as you guys probably know is like one of my least favorite places in New York. I love New York. It's like my second favorite city besides Winnipeg, of course. I hate Times Square. Times Square has to be the worst part of New York. The good news is the hotel's actually pretty nice, so that's a positive. At least it's not like a crappy hotel, but it is in Times Square, so that is pretty crappy. But we, as I said, came all the way here for a pair of shoes. Now, I'm just looking where the heck Times Square Foot Locker is. Oh, I hate Times Square. Got it. Number one. So, slight change of plan, guys. We're not going to the Times Square Foot Locker. We're going to the Foot Locker on 34th because, first off, it's a better Foot Locker. Second off, it's not in Times Square. This is like the big flagship Foot Locker in New York. So, they get a whole bunch of random stuff that pops up. So, I might leave with even more than one pair of shoes. So, to be completely honest, there's nothing like too crazy here. You got like all the Jordan performance stuff. Oh. These soldiers are actually sort of cool. It's like leather. I don't know what these are. It says 216 on the back. I don't know what significance that has. These are sort of cool. I like the way there's like, I'm a fan of the soldier model. Obviously, I play ball in these ones. Those are sort of cool. So, in my opinion, the best part of this Foot Locker is the Adidas section. The Ultra Boost that they, they have these, which I own, and they have these, which I've strongly considered picking up, and then 
I don't think I've ever seen these ones before. These ones are dope. So check these out. It's like an all white, except the boost is silver on them. The boost, that is, that's pretty dope. They're too, uh, I hate how they mark up the price when they put color on the boost. These are dope. This is something I want to try out. I think I'm like way too white to pull these off, but sort of want to try them out. It's a cool looking shoe, sort of reminds me of like a soccer shoe, something like that, and I am a fan of soccer. This is a pretty dope color. How much are they? One, oh, 190, that's expensive. Alright guys, so we did indeed buy a pair of kicks. First off, I want to give a shout out to the guys that work at the Foot Locker on 34th. They are great dudes. I've been in that store three times in my entire life and they recognize me. They, I don't think they know I make YouTube videos, but they're like, hey man, back again, I haven't seen you in a while. Like, what? How do you have that good memory? Like, I, that's just amazing. So shouts out to you guys, very good customer service, very good employees, but you guys probably know what I picked up already. It is, yeah, it's a pair of Jordan 1s, and this, you, you probably know what these are. If you don't by now, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but this is just zero hype on this shoe. Walked in, you know, eight hours after they released. They're still sitting in a size 12, wasn't worried about that at all. And the great thing is this is one of my favorite shoes that's released in the past six months, which is like more than probably the past year. Like I just, I love these things. They're absolutely amazing. So it just goes to show you like, sure I have Yeezys, sure I buy ridiculously expensive shoes, but this one, 160 retail, and I guarantee you, if you wait a little bit, they will go on sale. But I'll put a link in the description if you guys wanna buy these. But I might as well show you what they are because you guys might still be wondering. They are, of course, ooh, ooh, look how beautiful these are. Look how everyone in this entire city just stopped what they're doing and looked at this shoe because that is how beautiful it is right now. The leather is actually really good. I'd say it's like the same thing as the white metallics, which is pretty awesome because I enjoyed those. And then it's it's the same shoe as the white metallic or the blue metallic. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's just instead of blue, it's red. And it comes with red laces, except I'm definitely going to keep the white in. I think the white is the way to go. And it has the red metallic swoosh. It has the red here. It has the red here. It has the red here. And then it has the red here. And then the rest of it is just white. White nylon tongue, white leather, white laces. Now, the reason I love this shoe is just the fact that you could wear it every day. The metallic navy white ones that I own, first off, I have two pairs of them. That's how much I like them. I'll probably end up getting a second pair of these down the road as well if they go below retail, but I just wanted to get these as soon as possible. But the reason I love them so much is you can wear them everywhere. The, the navy ones I have took to Toronto, Washington, New York, Cleveland, Phoenix, Charlotte, like I brought them everywhere with me because that's just a go-to pair of kicks for me. So this is definitely gonna be in the same line as that. Like, you will be seeing me wear these a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And then there was some other dope stuff in the Foot Locker, but you know, I'm in New York for a while. So I wanna sort of pace myself. This is a shoe I knew I needed to pick up. I've been looking forward to this one for weeks and weeks and months and almost a year as I did say before. So this was like, yep, as soon as I land, as soon as I get out of the hotel, I am picking these up. And that's exactly what I did. These things are amazing. Let me know, did you guys pick these up today or are you waiting them to go below retail? Are they the best thing since sliced bread? Are they the best thing since unsliced bread? I think they are just the best thing, period. I have the bread ones on right now and this I think is my 23rd pair of Jordan 1s, somewhere around there. I think it's 23rd, which is just a stupid amount of Jordan 1s. Now that is way too many pairs of shoes, just one model. What am I doing with my life? I'll tell you what I'm doing with my life, guys. You already know what's up. One day, every single day, I feel like, no, I, I don't feel like a hype beast. That's the thing though. Sorry, guys, I don't feel like a hype beast because these have no hype on them. Like, thanks for the shirt. I really appreciate it, but these have no hype. So I don't feel like a hype beast. What I love about Jordan 1s is that the more you wear them, the better they look. Like, they get creepy. raining outside now so that sort of puts a damper on the plans that I was gonna do I was going to go find a basketball court somewhere that had lights on and go play some basketball but now it's raining so that's not happening I laced these up though Whew. Whew. can we just appreciate this like just moment of silence for how nice this pair of shoes is Beautiful pair of shoes. Beautiful, beautiful pair of shoes. I'm very excited to get these. As I said, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to pick these up. Don't sleep on these things. Seriously, don't sleep on these. This is one of the best pairs of shoes that has released this year, if you ask me. Like, I'd say this is probably the Royals are up there, these are up there, and then the Zebras are up there. I'd say this is in the top three pairs of shoes that has released this year, in my opinion. I absolutely love these. I don't know, I might go do something else, although I could just watch the Warriors game because I'm gonna wake up really early tomorrow so we got a long day tomorrow. Should I do something? You know what? If I do something else, you're gonna see it right now. If I 
don't do something else, I guess this is the end of the video. Comment Dunkin' Donuts bag if you're still watching this point to show that you support the channel. But maybe I'm doing something else, but maybe the video is over right now.